Hello, this is Marcy, and I'm back with you to teach you how to make three-dimensional projects in Art Felt. And in this case, we're going to be working with um, styrofoam heads. The heads can be used for uh, putting your hats on, or if you own a shop, or some way to display hats. This is a great way to do it instead of just the plain styrofoam. This is an example of one that we've done. You can see that, um, well, hopefully you can see that this has been covered with wool and felted to the shape of the head. I want to point out that this one that we did, you can see there's a nose here. This styrofoam form actually had facial features, and as a result, when it got banged about in the dryer, it tended to smash the nose. So we are going to start again, and we're going to use a styrofoam form you can see this. It has no facial, facial features, it's just kind of a blank slate. I am going to take off any sticky any pieces of paper or plastic that I find to make sure it's completely clean. We have to start by covering the form with art felt paper and to do that we're going to basically paper mache it using art felt paper. And I have a bowl here. I'm going to turn the head upside down in that bowl and actually move the paper and we towel. have this particular set of styrofoam heads that we purchased came with um, platforms. So when I'm done with the base, I'm going to turn it upside down and put it on that uh, platform and then I'll be able to do the rest of the head without worrying about the paper coming off at the bottom. So we have our bowl of water, just regular water, nothing special about it. I have a whole bunch of pieces of art felt paper that have been cut into little chunks, little strips. You want to do this, and if you have done art felt before and you have saved your pieces of, um, your bits and pieces that are left over, this is the kind of thing we were talking about, hanging on to them so that you can do projects like this. So basically you're going to start by getting your art felt paper wet. I just throw in a few at a time. And I'm going to lay the paper on the base and wrap it around. You want to make sure that you overlap each piece as you go around. As you do this, you want to keep these as smooth as possible. Okay, I don't know if you can see, probably not very well. This is, um, this paper's only come up to a certain point. We need to keep working up into the neck, and it is much easier to work around a um, sloping area with smaller pieces. You just want to make sure you overlap everything so that no styrofoam is left uncovered. I would suggest too that you work with a towel under you. I was going to use the paper towel but it was white and I thought you might not be able to see but it does get a little wet here. Okay. 
gently and just set it there. I'm not even going to force it down. And I'm going to go ahead and start working from the neck up. This is quite a large piece, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on the front of the face because that's a fairly flat area that I want to cover. We're back now with the dry head, and I'm going to take it off the base and put it into the bowl again so that I can work on the base first. What I'm going to use is in silk, which is in a kind of a creamy neutral color for the whole head. And I'm going to draft the roving just like I would on the paper if it were flat. And I'm going to do some cross hatching. And then I'm going to tack it in.
And because I don't want to touch this with my hands, the roving will come off. I'm going to just use another plastic bag and just press down where I've got to put water. So that I can make sure that this is getting completely saturated. And until the very end, I'm going to leave it on the base just because it gives it a little more height for me and allows the neck to stay off, off the, or the base to stay up off the bottom of the tray. Again, if I were working in a sink, I could either submerge this in a sink of water or I could gently pour water over it at the sink. See, by touching it with my hands, I'm pulling the roving off. I was trying to get rid of a little piece of red roving that didn't really belong. Okay, now I'm going to take this off the base. <clears throat> I'm going to turn it upside. Actually, I'm going to turn it the other way and see if it will just soak up some water from the bottom. Luckily, I have a couple of bags. I could also be wearing rubber gloves if I was very organized. Okay, the roving did come all the way up and over. Uh, toward the middle it looks a little thin, but it still should be enough to keep, to keep that base from uh, shrinking up and over the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit more on the top and let it run down the sides. I'm using cold water only because um, the row or the paper, the art felt paper, gets somewhat delicate when it's wet. And if you use a um, warmer or hot water, it well definitely if you use boiling water it'll dissolve. But if you use warm or hot water, it tends to get much more fragile. And I don't want this to be pulling away from the. Um, from the styrofoam of the mannequin head. Just want to make sure it's completely saturated. What we do with the heads is that we cover them in plastic and then just like the other larger pieces that we do, we put them into a stocking or something to hold them, um, hold the plastic up against them.
And I'm not sure if there's a tricky way to do this, but I'm going to see if I can figure it out. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is take something else, in this case, another bag. I don't want that air in there. Let's try and get that out. I'm going to tie another bag around this. Around the neck, actually. And I'm going to tie the end. And then, this is where trouser socks or fishnet stockings come in great. Because we do need to put this into a stocking so that the plastic will stay close to the head and the roving won't move around on the head. So see how well that goes over and it keeps everything together. I'm going to tie a slip knot so that that won't um, come out. And I don't know that I have another fish net, but I'm going to go ahead and throw this in with the balls into the dryer. And I'm going to start with 15 minutes. That's not probably going to be a, long enough, at least for the head, but we'll see how it goes. Also, I'm going to throw in some um, hand towels to help, help it move about. This one I am going to take apart or ta open up just so we can see how far it's gone. The fact that it wasn't bouncing around tells me that it may not have felted as well as it might because it's the agitation that's going to do the felting. So here we go. Actually, it's doing pretty well. There's still a lot more to go, though, because a lot of this wants to lift off. So it is not well felted yet. But I am going to put it back inside the bag. I'm going to tie it back up. And I'm going to keep felting it or keep um, agitating it. And